Oh, wow, look at this. What's the point of this? Do you really need something to say you love each other? Yes. Maybe we should get something for you as well. Perhaps a mug saying best brother in the world. We're not going to find anything in there. Come on, let's keep going. Look at this. Hi. Seriously, Marsha? Good evening. Getting married. Yes! Did you know? Just a guess, my dear. Well, anyway, we're looking for something that links us together. I'm certain you'll find something here. Please, feel free to browse. sign of friendship, love, or peace. Why... why skulls? I'm not sure. A common design would be hearts or animals. These were probably custom made. You okay, Alan? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Is there one missing? Yes. They belonged to a Mrs. Haversham. She won four, but only wanted one. What, as in Havisham Bakery? The old lady who died in her car? Yes. Her family gave them to me to sell. Well, I think they're gorgeous, and they would be perfect. Who is that? Hmm. Looks Dutch to me. How much are they? Five hundred pounds. Five hundred for three old lockets? That's 500 for each. <laughs> You're having a laugh, mate. Perhaps we should meet halfway. Shall we say 750 pounds for the three? Oh, come on, Bob. It'd be perfect for us. All right then, cash your card. What he didn't tell them was that the lockets possess a curse. Centuries ago, I lived amongst wealth, love, and liars. I always expected the worst. Upon my death, 13 lockets were made. Seven, plain, were given to the innocent. Six, with skulls, were given to the traitors. The guilty were linked to my fate, to die gasping for air. Good evening. What are you playing at? The picture was of a 17th century Dutchman when I sold it to you. Yeah, well look at it now. Alan drowned this morning. We were at the gym. Alan was in the pool. I found that in his locker. You're just trying to stir up publicity for your crappy little shop, aren't you? And how would that help me? Well, how would you explain it then? <laughs> Perhaps they're cursed. Well, stop with your bullshit. You just wanted to keep them for yourself. Fuck you!
this. This was lying on the floor beneath her. I can't shoot you! Why did you do it? What did we do? I had nothing to do with this. Sir. Yeah, just drive. Earlier today, a local bus lost control. A taxi was swept from the ground and thrown into the abandoned Havisham bakery. Soon after impact, the once grand establishment crumbled to the ground. One death was reported intoxicated young man, later identified as Robert Miller. By the time firefighters reached him, he was dead. Two items were discovered in the backseat of the taxi. A loaded handgun and a peculiar looking locket containing a picture of Mr. Miller. They were doomed from the moment they picked up those lockets. They all die the same way, fighting for breath. Just as Mrs. Havisham died in her exhaust-filled garage. And just as, centuries ago, an old Dutch patroon, Schuller van Kroten, had died, screaming, gasping for breath, in his coffin. Awakening to find that his family had deliberately Buried him. Alive. <laughs>